Welcome to this Q&A with the ECA. Today's question is a viewer question and comes from YouTube viewer Ala Ditta Babu. Now, I'm paraphrasing a little here, but the question is, how should smoke alarms be wired in domestic properties? Do they need to be on their own circuit or can they be fed from a lighting circuit? We're going to head over to Luke Osborne, Energy and Emerging Technologies Solution Advisor from the ECA to answer this question for us. Over to you, Luke. For grade D systems, BS58396 tells us that they can be on either an independent circuit solely for the use of smoke alarms or a separately protected, regularly used local lighting circuit. With the latter, there should be a means of isolation of the smoke alarms from the lighting circuit, for example, for maintenance. It's really good to get a clear answer on that for our viewers. Thank you very much, Luke. Of course, it's worth noting that a grade D alarm, as referenced by Luke there, is the typical grade of alarm that's found in domestic properties and is further split into grade D1, which is a system of one or more mains powered detectors, each with a tamper-proof standby supply consisting of a battery or batteries, and D2, which is a system of one or more mains powered detectors, each with an integral standby supply consisting of user replaceable battery or batteries. As always, we'd like to hear from yourselves on this issue. Do you prefer to install a dedicated circuit for smoke alarms, or would you rather install the alarms off a lighting circuit? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below, and thank you very much for watching.